Evelyn Ankers, a notable presence in classic Hollywood cinema, left an enduring mark on audiences through her performances. Whether it was in a suspenseful thriller or a heartwarming drama, Anchor's talent resonated with viewers. Reflecting on her body of work, one might ponder when they first recognized the actress or which of her roles holds a special place in their heart. As we delve into the cinematic legacy she created, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic figure from Hollywood's golden era. Your stories and reflections are welcomed in the comments below, providing a collective celebration of Evelyn Anker's enduring impact on film. Share your thoughts and memories with us. In the glittering annals of Hollywood's golden age, Evelyn Anker's stands as a luminous yet often overlooked gem. Born in Valparaiso, Chile, to British parents, Anker's journey to stardom was as captivating as the characters she portrayed on the silver screen. Evelyn's entry into acting was no ordinary tale. She was discovered by a talent scout while visiting London and with serendipitous swiftness found herself in front of the camera. It was her talent, not just her striking beauty, that paved her way to Tinseltown. Landing her first major role in Hold That Ghost alongside Abbott and Costello, she swiftly became a sought-after actress. Yet it was in the realm of horror films that Evelyn truly carved her niche. Audiences were spellbound by her captivating performances, notably in the iconic film The Wolfman. Her ability to convey a delicate balance of terror and vulnerability made her an enduring presence in the hearts of horror aficionados. Despite the supernatural elements that often defined her roles, it was her grounded and authentic portrayal that set her apart. Anchors, however, was more than just a scream queen. Beneath the surface of her ethereal beauty and on-screen poise, she possessed an adventurous spirit. During World War II, she dedicated herself to entertaining troops, showcasing not only her artistic talents, but also a profound sense of duty and patriotism. While her cinematic legacy is indelibly linked with the horror genre, Evelyn Anker's versatility as an actress was nothing short of remarkable. From crime dramas to romantic comedies, she effortlessly traversed genres, leaving an indelible mark on each. Despite the accolades and fan adoration, Anchors chose to step away from the limelight in the 1950s. Her departure remains shrouded in mystery, adding yet another layer of intrigue to her enigmatic persona. Anchors' decision to prioritize family life over fame only adds to the allure of her narrative, elevating her from mere Hollywood starlet to a woman of substance. Evelyn Anchor's untimely departure from the spotlight may have dimmed her visibility, but her cinematic contributions continue to resonate. Her legacy endures not only in the eerie echoes of horror classics, but also in the hearts of those who recognize her as a captivating actress whose brilliance transcended the screen. In the grand tapestry of Hollywood history, Evelyn Anchor's story is a nuanced chapter, rich with unexpected turns and timeless Alleria tale that continues to captivate those who uncover the layers of this remarkable actress. Evelyn Anchor's, a luminary of Hollywood's golden era, left an indelible mark through her versatile career. Notably, she holds the distinction of being the sole actress to grace the screens in films featuring the iconic monstrous wolf man, Dracula, and Frankenstein. In The Wolfman, she portrayed Gwen Canliffe, sharing the screen with Lon Chaney Jr. as the menacing creature. Her encounters with Chaney continued in Son of Dracula, where she played Claire Caldwell, and in The Ghost of Frankenstein as Elsa Frankenstein. Beyond her acting prowess, Anchors contributed to the 1978 book The Golden Age of B-Movies by Doug McColland, providing the introduction. This underlines her impact, not just on screen, but in the appreciation of Hollywood's cinematic history. Notably, her first name was pronounced E. Lin, a unique touch to her distinguished persona. This pronunciation adds a distinctive layer to her already captivating narrative. Evelyn Anchors, a trailblazer in the world of classic cinema, stands as a testament to the Golden Age's allure. From her memorable roles alongside iconic monsters to her literary contributions, Anchors' legacy continues to resonate with those enamored by Hollywood's rich tapestry. Her story is a nuanced chapter, marked by versatility and uniqueness, a tale that transcends time. Known as the Queen of the Screamers for her blood-curdling vocal outburst in 1940s B-suspense thrillers, Evelyn Anchors left an enduring mark on Hollywood. Beyond her on-screen prowess, Anchors' personal life added intriguing layers to her narrative. Engaged to actor Glenn Ford, she broke off the engagement upon meeting Richard Denning during Ford's location shoot. This decision marked a pivotal turn in her life. 
Anchors, after stepping away from the limelight, made a surprising return for her last film, the 1960 drama No Greater Love. Breaking her retirement, she shared the screen with her husband, Richard Denning, in a move that underscored her dedication to both her craft and personal connections. In the grand tapestry of Evelyn Anchor's career, her transition from screen queen to a retired actress returning for a final project is a testament to her versatility and the unpredictable twists in her Hollywood journey. It's a compelling chapter that adds depth to the legacy of this iconic actress whose influence extends beyond the eerie echoes of classic horror films. Evelyn Anchors, a luminary of Hollywood's golden era, left an indelible mark through her versatile career. Notably, she holds the distinction of being the sole actress to grace the screens in films featuring the iconic monstrous wolf man, Dracula, and Frankenstein. In The Wolf Man, she portrayed Gwen Conliffe, sharing the screen with Lon Chaney Jr. as the menacing creature. Her encounters with Chaney continued in Son of Dracula, where she played Claire Caldwell, and in The Ghost of Frankenstein as Elsa Frankenstein. Despite the on-screen chemistry, it's intriguing to note that Anchors and Lon Chaney Jr. reportedly had a strong disliking for each other. The tension between them added an extra layer of complexity to their collaborative efforts, with Anchors once referring to Chaney as a brute with bad breath. This behind-the-scenes dynamic, hidden from the audience, adds a fascinating twist to their on-screen collaborations. Anchors' journey in Hollywood wasn't without its challenges. She recalled the rushed nature of B-movies, such as on The Great Impersonation, where director John Rollins called action, before the actors were given any blocking. Caught off guard, anchors and actor Ralph Bellamy remained frozen. In a moment of assertiveness, she stuttered to the director, I would like to meet my leading man, as I have never kissed a man before first being introduced to him. This anecdote offers a glimpse into the fast-paced and sometimes chaotic world of Hollywood's classic era. Evelyn Anchor's story extends beyond the silver screen, concluding on an unexpected note. She passed away just 12 days after her 67th birthday, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate with fans and cinephiles alike. In the grand tapestry of Evelyn Anchor's career, these lesser-known facets reveal a woman whose journey was marked by both triumphs and challenges a testament to the unpredictable nature of Hollywood's golden age. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the enchanting performances of a certain celebrated actress, I implore you, dear reader, to pause and ponder. Let the tapestry of memories woven by Evelyn Anchor's illustrious career unfold in the theater of your mind. The stage is set, and the spotlight is yours. In the grand tapestry of entertainment, Anchor's roles resonate with a timeless quality that transcends the silver screen. As we tread the hallowed ground of her filmography, each frame becomes a vessel, carrying us through the corridors of our own emotions. The grace she infused into every character, the subtlety in her expressions, these are the threads that bind us to her cinematic legacy. Now, as the curtains gently fall, it's your turn to step into the limelight. Share with us your cherished recollections, those indelible moments when Anchor's presence illuminated the darkened theater of your soul. Whether it be the thrill of a horror masterpiece or the allure of a classic romance, your reflections add color to the celluloid canvas she so masterfully painted. As we collectively unravel the tapestry of shared experiences, let us revel in the beauty of connection forged through art. Your words become the stitches that mend the fabric of shared appreciation, creating a mosaic of sentiments that transcend time. In the grand finale, let us extend our heartfelt gratitude for the enduring impact actress Evelyn Anchors has left on the tapestry of entertainment. Her performances, like the flicker of a timeless reel, continue to resonate with audiences across generations. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the realms of her craft. Your presence enriches the narrative, and your reflections breathe life into the echoes of her on-screen brilliance. Reflect, share, and revel in the cinematic magic for the story lives on in the hearts of those who dare to embrace the allure of classic cinema. And with that, we bid you adieu until our paths cross again in the boundless realms of storytelling.